with the Louisville Free Public Library. In 2017, we launched the Collider Artist in Residence program. Liz Richter is the January 2021 Virtual Collider Artist in Residence. We are excited to welcome Liz back as she was one of our in-person artists in September 2019. She is a Louisville visual artist and muralist, and we hope you'll join her for her live program. Hi, my name is Liz Richter. I'm an artist and a muralist, and I'm here at the South Central Regional Library in the Collider Residency space. And um, I got to participate in this residency in the fall of 2019, and it actually was a huge catalyst for me. It was um, a residency that I did while planning two of my largest public artworks to date, and then also um, was able to help me move into my first studio space outside of my home. So it was a really big transitional point for me, which I'm really grateful for. So just a little bit about me. Um, I started my art career as an educator. My background is in art education, and I have a, a BS in education from the Southeast Missouri State University. I was homeschooled, and I was always super creative, but I never took a formal art class until I was in college. And to this day, I've still only had one painting class. So um, because of that, I pretty much, I'm sort of like in between self-taught and formally trained, but I lean much more towards being self-taught because so much of what I do is based on the way I made art as a child and as a teenager, just like at home. And um, I've sort of taken that self-teaching approach to the way I do murals and just sort of like a laid back, like I'll figure it out attitude. <laughs> so um, as far as my style, I really love color and I really love illustration. My uh, other sort of background is in illustration. I was designing um, book covers when I was about 16, 17 years old. And because of that background in education and like advertising, um, I think it's weird how you, you don't really know what you're doing until things sort of start to come together. But in my 30s, as I got into doing public art pieces and murals, I realized that I was really combining the idea of an illustration with advertising and then education. Um, which are like the three areas that you know I separately have experience in. And I view public art as a way of communicating or sharing ideas and collaborating. A lot of my art has that collaborative aspect to it. Um, this piece is a, a finished piece that at this point I feel like belongs to the patrons at the South Central Regional Library more than it does to me because they've added so much to it. But this was a piece we did at the Maker Fair last fall. Um, and I think there was probably over 50 kids at some point or another who have touched and added to this wall. But all of the imagery came from my residency here at the library. And um, I was kind of creeping around and sketching people in my spare time and just like seeing people enjoy the space and then interpreting that into kind of just a fun coloring book like illustrative style for people to add to themselves. So we used paint markers, acrylic paint markers on this piece. It's a big wood panel and um, a lot of you that are watching this may have worked on it so I hope at some point you'll come back into the library when you feel safe and maybe um, give it another look. But one fun detail that I added in here, this photo is actually from a student workshop that I taught at the library and I was able to capture a photo of the kids working on a canvas and then they then became the canvas and they're now um, immortalized on this canvas. And then at the time that I was doing this, I actually had a large feature in Louisville Magazine. And so this is actually a portrait of me and my son reading my feature in Louisville Magazine that had just came out at the time because it was just a really memorable moment for me as a parent, like for my son to see you know, mommy in print. And so I kind of added that because it seemed like something that would be happening in the library. So um, another piece I wanted to just share with you that was also collaborative in a completely different way is uh, this wearable art piece that I made for Came at Couture. And I thought I would talk about it a little bit today because it was actually inspired by my interaction with social media and the whole project came about because of social media, which is exactly what's happening right now. You're seeing this virtually. I'm, a, I'm sort of a in real life kind of gal, um, and social media has always been sort of a double-edged sword for me. And this project is like me talking about that 
And for this project, I actually stole eyeballs off of Facebook profile pictures, cropped them down, made them black and white, and then embellished them. And it's sort of a visualization of my own insecurity of being in the public eye. But then also, it's about like eyes represent, you know, the window to the soul. And then the eye, um, these little small portraits of eyes were really, really popular in the 19th century. They're called lover's eyes, and you can actually just Google lover, lover's eyes, and it's really fascinating. But people would carry around just these like tiny little eyeball paintings, little oil paintings of their loved one's eyes, and they're called lover's eyes. So that's kind of why I took the idea of a lover's eye and then transformed it into talking about social media. And so these are eyes of like people I actually know. Like I think this is my friend Christine. <laughs> Um, my husband is on here. This is a local artist who like, I've worked with. So anyway, all of these are, are either people I know or even like friends of friends. I started getting real extra creepy and even taking theirs because I wanted to talk a little bit about appropriation and how the idea of like once something's on the web, it no longer belongs to anyone. Um, and we don't really have control of that content. So on the back of this piece, I put um, in large letters. And I should say that this is made from a tarp that, um, that I, something very similar to what I would use when I was painting. And all the materials are like leftover materials from, from murals. And so I use leftover mural paint from the newly wildflower mural to paint this. Don't follow me. I'm lost too. I don't know if you can read that, but I have some photos of it as well. And, um, the model that I used to wear this on the runway was actually one of my mural assistants. So that was kind of cool to get to connect with her on that level. And then for the handbag, I wanted to talk about the text of like comments, you know, on social media and how those can impact an artist, like either positive or negatively, and that kind of the affirmation, you know, that we get and how it's, it's a really positive thing and it can be really encouraging, but it can also be a little toxic. So this piece is about um, the comments that, you know, these are actually all real comments that I've gotten on my social media over the last couple years, which is kind of fun. This one's my favorite. It just says dope IG. <laughs> so yeah, I just, it's one of my favorite pieces and this piece hangs in my studio. Um, it's just a reminder to me to like not take social media too seriously and have fun with it, but also know when to turn it off. So anyway, yeah, that's a little bit about me. I hope you um, enjoy these other videos. I'm really excited to get to work with the library on this project. Mm -hmm.